Hi, so for today we are going to talk about the or continue our discussion all about the 1001 solve integral by yours truly. So this will be the part 9, 66 to number 66 to 70. Yes, that's um, a long way to go for 1000 pro solve problems, but at, at least we are nearing 100 problems. Okay, so for today we are going to solve again in uh, exponential just like the part 8. So yeah, for number 66, we need to solve the integral of e theta, d theta, all over 6, e theta plus 1. 6e theta plus 1. Raised to 3 halves. So this is none other than but a simple u substitution. So as you can see, uh, the clue or the hint always when we are trying to use u substitution is the one which has the exponent. So, if we're going to let you, the denominator, so we have 6e theta plus 1, then get the derivative of both sides, so this would be du, and this would be simply e raised to theta d theta. So, as you can see in the numerator, we have e theta d theta. So, we have to consider that to be isolated on the right side. So, we have e, ra a e theta raised to uh, t theta. So we have the integral, we can now finally uh, u substitute. E theta, d theta would be du all over 6. All over, we have u raised to 3 halves. We let this whole thing as u. And this is raised to 3 halves, so we have that kind of solution. And we can factor out 1, 6 so that uh, our solution would be look neat. We would look neat. So... Yeah, we have 1, 6 using the properties of exponent. I can get the reciprocal of this but to negate its exponent. U raised to three, negative 3 halves and then we have du. This is none other than a simple what uh, power formula. So we have u raised to negative 3 halves plus 1 and negative 3 halves plus 1 and then we have plus c. So negative 3 halves plus 1 is negative 1.5 plus 1 so that results to uh, negative 1 half so we have 1 6 okay and then we have a u raised to negative 1 half all over negative 1 half then we have plus c so simplifying this so we have 1 all over 6 get the reciprocal of negative 1 half so that negative 2 all over 1 and then multiply it by negative 1 half, u raised to negative 1 half plus c. So as you can see, we have a cancellation over here, 2 all over 6, this would be 3. So we have negative 1 third, u raised to negative 1 half plus c. Okay, so that is the uh, answer. But then we, we need to back substitute the value of u. The value of u will be 6e theta plus 1. So, we have 6e theta plus 1. So, we have negative 1 third. Okay. And then, we have 6e theta plus 1 raised to negative 1 half plus c. Of course, you can also use the properties of exponent. Okay. So, that uh, this would be 1 all over 6e theta plus 1 raised to one half okay uh, i mean the the denominator is the only one raised to one half okay not the whole entire one so in other words one half is equivalent to square root so we have negative one all over three square root of 60 e theta plus one plus e. so you can have an answer as this as our final answer or you can have it in exponent maybe you can you can uh, have this as your final answer also but we have already simplified the given so for number 67 we have integral of e raised to x plus 1 squared and then we have all over e raised to x at dx so the very first thing that we're going to do here is uh we need to expand the numerator so upon expanding by foil we have e raised to 2x 
plus we have 2e raised to x plus 1 uh, dx all over e raised to x. And then by properties of um, uh, integral, we can rewrite this as e raised to 2x all over e raised to x dx plus integral of 2e raised to x all over e raised to x dx plus we have 1 all over e raised to x uh, dx. So as you can see, many will cancel. e raised to 2x all over e raised to x is like e raised to 2x then multiplying it by e raised to negative x. Because if you uh, try to get the reciprocal of e raised to x, that would be e raised to negative x. By properties of exponent, we have e raised to 2x minus x. So we have e raised to x. So this term, this first term, we have e raised to x dx. And obviously for the second, this cancels out. So we have plus integral of 2 dx. And by properties of exponent, I can negate this and we'll be having integral of e raised to negative x dx here. So yeah, it's very simple. e raised to x plus we have 2x plus, of course, we, ha we, we need to let uh, u substitution in here e raised to negative x. So we have to let u negative x. We have du negative dx. But we only want dx. So we have negative du. Then we have dx here. So substituting it. So we have e raised to u. Then we have negative du. So we can factor out negative 1. This becomes negative. So we have e raised to u du. And then we have e raised to x plus 2x. Minus e raised to u, but u is negative x. And then we have, of course, plus c. So we cannot simplify e raised to x minus e raised to negative x. Okay? That, that would not cancel because they don't have the same exponents. Okay? And then they are not multiplied. So that is for number 67. For 68, integral of e raised to 2 theta d theta all over 1 plus e 1 plus 3 e raised to 2 theta okay so first of all this is a u substitution we have to let you the denominator 1 plus 3 e raised to 2 theta get the derivative of both sides so that must be what 3 times 2 e raised to 2 theta t theta because a derivative of 2 theta is 2 so we multiply it on the whole function e raised to 2 theta with 3 in it because of the 3 initially multiplied to it so we have du 6 e 2 theta d theta and we have in the denominator or uh, correction in the denominator we have e raised to 2 theta d theta so we only want e raised to 2 theta d theta here so we have du all over 6 e raised to 2 theta d theta here okay so we, we can now finally substitute so e raised to 2 theta d theta would be du all over 6 all over what our u uh, that is we let we let that whole thing in the denominator as u so we have 1 all over 6, we have du all over u. So we have 1 all over 6 ln of the absolute value of u plus c. But u, we need to substitute it back. So we have ln of 1 plus 3 e raised to 2 theta. Okay, and then plus c. So this will be our final answer for this problem. Okay, so far so good. How about for number 69? So we have 69. Number 69, we have the problem. E raised to 1 all over x. E raised to 1 all over x all over x squared uh, dx. Okay. So what approach would you do if you see this type of problem? Well, of course, uh, with this type of problem, we would always assume that this is uh, this can be solved by a simple u substitution. You always assume that first. If that is not uh, solvable by the u substitution and or any basic integration formulas, then it's time to go with different techniques. But then this problem, as you can see, if I'm going to rewrite this problem, we have e raised to one all over x multiplied by. 1 all over x squared dx. 
So if I'm going to let u, usually we let whatever is the exponent as u. Okay? That's the hint. So we have let u 1 all over x du. When we get the derivative of this, 1 all over x, that's quotient rule. So we copy the denominator, low, then differentiate the high. That is low d high. So derivative of 1 is 0, minus high, copy the numerator, and differentiate the low. High d low, so we have 1 also. Derivative of x is 1, and then low squared, and then dx. So that's how we use the quotient rule. We have to differentiate with the quotient rule. Low d high minus high d low over low squared. So what happens? x times 0 is x uh, is 0. Sorry, so we have negative 1 all over x squared dx. Or in other words, we have negative dx all over x squared. Of which, we have dx all over x squared. We just have to eliminate the negative. So by, by uh, uh, what do you call this? By multiplying both sides of the equation by negative 1. So that we have negative du and then we have dx all over x squared. So now we can now finally substitute. So, upon substituting, if you can see here, we can now substitute integral of e raised to u. And then dx all over x squared equals negative du. That is still the same. This is still the same dx as all over x squared as, as uh, this. 1 all over x squared dx. That is still the same. So, we have negative du here. So, we can factor out negative du. Or forgive me for my writing. So, we have negative du. So we have negative. Uh, we can factor out the negative one outside of the integral sign. So we have negative e raised to u du, and that's it. Negative e. We have the u. We let u as one all over x. Okay, and then we have plus c. So that would be the answer in this solving this type of problem. Okay. So number seventy. Last for this uh, video, we have one all over two e tangent x. 1 minus integral of 1 minus 2 e raised to tangent x, if I'm not mistaken. Then multiplied by secant x, secant squared x dx. Let me just check. Okay, we have the correct answer. So, in this type of problem, we have to be careful on doing this. Okay? So... Most probably what comes to your mind when we are going to solve this problem is we let you as tangent x. Okay? We let you as tangent s. While it may be true, it may be good. Okay? But how about the one? Okay? So we need to to actually distribute second squared x dx on this term to this term because if we let u tangent x alone how are we going to substitute the other terms here so we have secant squared x multiply it secant squared x dx since this is one uh, that is secant squared x ds minus integral of 2e tangent of x multiplied by secant squared x dx Remember that secant squared x dx is readily integrable. Okay? Uh, so, the integral of secant squared x is tangent of x. Now, on the second term, we have 2e tangent x secant squared x dx. So, as you can see, this is the time that we can let u as tangent x. If we let u, we get the derivative of tangent x that is secant squared x dx, which is readily available here. So, if we use that, so we have 2e raised to u multiplied by du because secant squared x dx is simply a du. So, we can factor out 2 outside of the integral and then integrate. So, we have tangent of x minus 2e raised to u. Our u is tangent of x, of course. And then we have plus c. So, that would be our answer for this problem, for problem number 70. So again, thank you so much guys for listening. I hope you learned something. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this with your friends, with your engineering friends who are struggling, currently struggling in integrals. And let us let us uh, make them feel that integrals is not that hard. Okay. I, and I hope 
uh, this video made you feel that that you can do integ integrals you can solve integrals so thank you so much guys for listening again this is Jabat see you again on the next video